You don't need to drive far to see asphalt pavements with deep ruts or asphalt surfaces that are cracking and crumbling apart. More than one third of our asphalt pavements are in poor or fair condition. In 1987, the nation's highway agencies created the Strategic Highway Research Program, SHARP, to find solutions to our asphalt problems. We invested $50 million in the biggest program of asphalt research ever conducted to see what makes asphalt perform. Advanced techniques such as chromatography, nuclear magnetic resonance, CAT scans, and others have been used to see what it is that makes some asphalt pavements durable while others fail. The biggest problem in the past has been that our specifications control consistency only. Some of the materials and designs that pass these specifications have worked well. Others have not. We are paying the price. Our pavements are in poor condition and rehabilitation bills are staggering. The public is challenging our competence. Now we have a way to select asphalt that will perform. Sharp specifications for asphalt binders and mixes set out the range of properties that are needed to produce a pavement that can withstand traffic, heat, cold, moisture, age, and fatigue. The new approach is called SuperPave. It uses performance-based specifications, new test methods, and a computerized mix design system. SuperPave was developed cooperatively by highway agencies, industry, and research scientists. It uses new testing devices to simulate and predict performance. For example, a newly developed pressure aging vessel is used to simulate how asphalt ages after it is laid. The performance of asphalt binders at different temperatures is based upon measurements from two different types of rheometers. The dynamic shear rheometer applies torsion to binder specimens at high temperatures. It isolates the viscous and elastic components of the binder. The bending beam rheometer measures fluctual creep stiffness at sub-freezing temperatures. It predicts whether asphalt will fail in tension. Together, these rheometers tell us a lot about performance. For example, a binder whose stiffness falls quickly when a load is applied will cause rutting. Or a binder whose stiffness increases too much as the temperature drops will cause cracking. Using the master stiffness curve, an engineer can tell whether a binder will cause rutting, cracking, or fatigue. This method works. It checks out well against how binders actually perform in mixes. It checks with the results of rolling wheel tests. It fits actual field experience. Using the super paved binder specifications and tests, we can now select binders to meet the demands of different climates, designs, and loads. Super paved mixes are designed using a gyratory compactor. This produces test samples with the same air void content the same engineering properties and the same particle alignments that are found in the pavement itself. Actual field trials and instrumented tests in several countries have confirmed that rutting is caused by shear forces. Sharp simple shear test provides a quick and reliable way to avoid rutting problems. We cannot afford to keep designing asphalt pavements like we did yesterday and to keep repeating yesterday's mistakes. The stakes are huge. Nine out of ten miles of paved roads in the United States are surfaced with asphalt. We spend ten billion dollars a year building and replacing these pavements. Current technology is inadequate. But change will be difficult. Engineers need to acquire new testing equipment and know-how. Change will take time and money as highway agencies and paving contractors change over to performance-based specifications. Starting in 1992, highway organizations have begun to purchase the equipment and to provide the training needed to build high-performance asphalt pavements. 170 million American motorists are eager to see the result. They won't be disappointed.